right, Dante's Boxing Nation over here with the man, the miracle man, I'm Danny feeling Jacobs. happy, Dante. Uh, man. I got a chance to meet you, brother. Oh, it's man. It's been an honor, man. I've I always followed your work. I appreciate I want to say I appreciate you for supporting the sport of boxing, doing such a positive job supporting us fighters. We put our lives on the line, and you do such a tremendous, respectful job of doing what you do for us, and I want to commend you, brother. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I figure, since I'm sitting over here on this machine and ain't got nothing else to do, I might as well drop a video. Shout out to my man, Town Business, who uh, shot me this link of the story. Demetrius Andre, according to uh, Sergey Darren Yanchenko, his people, his manager. Uh, Andre, he pulled out of a possible fight that would have been on that Billy Joe Saunders versus the mute undercard, part of um, Andre's part deal, HBO deal to be signed. Now, according to um, Chanko's manager, Andre, uh, Andre um, he had already agreed to take the fight, and the negotiations were very close to being a done deal. And at the last minute, Demetrius Andre pulled out, and he decided that he didn't have enough time to go up against a tough challenger like that, um, Chanko. Because, you know, for those of you guys who don't know, Andre just fought, what was it, um, was it October? He fought in October, I believe. And, um, and uh, what's his name? Chanko, he fought in August. So there's no doubt about it. Um, because Andre, he would have had about, I guess, what, seven weeks to prepare. But there's no doubt about it. Uh, Chanko, Kadarian and Chanko, he would have had a lot more, a lot much more time to prepare for that fight. So, with that being said, okay, I just tried to adjust the screen. But so, with that being said, something else I wanted to, um, I wanted to quote something else that um, uh, Chanko's manager said. He said, you know, Demetrius Andre is always saying he's the most avoided. As soon as he gets a real challenge, he turns it down. They said they're still willing to take the fight against Andre in the first quarter of next year. So if that is the case, then Andre really has no reason not to take the fight. Plus, this puts Andre in a position to fight Milwaukee if he's willing to get past Chanko because they're fighting for the number one spot, IDF mandatory on position for the Luckus belt. So I commend uh, Darren Yanchenko for wanting to take that fight with only 11 fights. Of course, we know he has one of them deep amateur pedigrees, so, you know, they're on a fast track all the time, like fighters like Lomachenko and Guillermo Rigo. So, yeah, man, Demetrius Andre, now, now we're starting to find out what um, HBO's motives were. They wanted to put, they obviously wanted to put um, Andre in there uh, against um, a tough undefeated fighter and whoever wins that fight, you know, they're going to emerge as somewhat of a new star on the network, HBO. It could be, it could be Chanko, it could be Andre. But man, that would have been a good look for Andre to take that fight though. All right, y'all. So anyway, I had to get off that machine. I was on there for damn near 45 minutes. That uh, Octane Fitness Lateral Elliptical. Shout out to LVAC. Hashtag Dante's Muscle Nation. But anyway, guys, um, so like I was saying, this would have been a good look for um, Demetrius Andrade if he would have took this fight. It probably would have been the best fight. Not probably. It would have been the best fight on the card if he would have fought on this um, undercard of Billy Joe Saunders versus David Lemieux. That would have really, really catapulted uh, that uh, boxing card. And not only that, but once again, it puts Andre in a position to get exactly what he wants, which is fighting against Gennady Golovkin. Because this fight would have been for the mandatory IBF strap, which um, we all know Golovkin, you know, he's a champion uh, in that division, or he, he's um, the one that has that belt. Anyway, guys, so I commend I commend uh, Darian Yanchenko for wanting to take such a tough fight against Demetrius Andre, but at the same time, you know, there's no doubt about it, 
Demetrius Andre, you know, he would have a shorter time to prepare for Darren Yanchenko. Okay. So now, if they both, if both of their fights was, you know, they had it at the same time, like let's say they both fought in August or they both fought in October or something like that, then you could say, well, Andre, you really don't have an excuse because you guys fought the same time. You guys both had the same amount of time to prepare. But clearly they don't have the same time to prepare. So now Darren Yanchenko's people, they said that they're willing to still fight Andre the first quarter of 2018. So now if Andre doesn't take the fight then, then, you know, you could say, okay, Andre may be avoiding this guy. Now, Andre, according to um, Darren Yanchenko's people, Andre did say that, um, what did he say? He said, um, he said, Andre said the fight, you know, um, this is too tough of a fight on a short notice, right? So once again, if Andre takes the fight next year, you know, then it makes sense. If he still doesn't take the fight, it's going to be hard to justify that. Because once again, this is Andre's road to fighting Gennady Golovkin. So let's see what happens, guys. I'm on to the next one, y'all.